Hey, it's Dry Bear. Now is the best time to play Baldur's Gate 3. Whether you've somehow escaped the draw and magnetism of this game and have yet to play a single playthrough, or you've played many and haven't touched it in a while, or maybe you finished a playthrough yesterday, Baldur's Gate 3 is primed and ready for you. Patch 7 is on the way and coming soon. We've already seen the game files being uploaded to the back end for Baldur's Gate 3, so we can expect Patch 7 to be in the next couple weeks or so. And to double confirm that, you usually see about a, week, a month and a half to three months between patches. And last patch, patch six, was about two months ago in February. If you check the database for Steam under Baldur's Gate 3, you'll see that release underscore patch seven has started to populate already while most of it is encrypted. And we don't know exactly what's going into this patch, but we do know there's a couple things on the horizon. We have been promised the addition of full evil endings, whether this is going to be Dark Urge related, Mindful player related or just world domination related or all three. We also know at some point we'll be getting cross-platform mod support and just like they did with Divinity Original Sin 2, they will take the most stable and reasonable mods and put them in client for console players to enjoy the mods as part of the game as if they were playing on PC. It also means that the mods that get chosen to go into cross-platform mod support will actually be a lot more stable and will work with each update that comes along. We also know that they're working Working on crossplay to allow you to play on an Xbox or a PS5 and then play with someone on PC or anything in between. And we know that photo mode is on the way as well. And while we have confirmed that they're not going to be doing a DLC for Baldur's Gate 3 or any major update or expansion, Baldur's Gate 3 is still in its base form a game you don't want to miss. In fact, just recently it broke a world record. It is the first game ever to win every single available game of the year award credential. Games like Elden Ring and Breath of the Wild came close, but it is the first game in history to win all five accredited Game of the Year awards. It started in November 2023 when it won the Ultimate Game of the Year award at the Golden Joystick Awards. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> I, I, I think this is going to be our most coveted award because it was voted for by players and we, we make it for them. I mean, like, and there's, yeah, there's nothing better than uh, making a difference in someone's lives, playing your game, knowing that they have a little escape from reality, uh, have fun with it. Uh, this is the reason why we all do this thing. This is the reason why all of you do uh, what we are doing. So uh, thank you incredibly, very, very, very much in a very Belgian way. Thank you very much. And then won the Game of the Year award at the Game Awards in December. And the Game of the Year is... Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> I didn't expect it anymore. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, a game like Baldur's Gate 3 isn't possible if you don't have an incredible team working on it. And the team at Larian spent their hearts and souls for six years uh, on this game in sometimes very difficult circumstances. This was our COVID game. Um, along the way, we, we lost quite a few people also. So we want to dedicate this uh, to all the people we lost and especially uh, to Jim, our lead cinematic uh, artist, uh, who passed away uh, in the uh, last month. Um, the Game of the Year Award at the DICE Awards in February, and again at the Game Developer Choice Awards in March. And now Baldur's Gate 3 has won Game of the Year at the BAFTA Awards to wrap up a five-sweep streak of Game of the Year, the first game ever to accomplish this feat. And what makes this achievement even more interesting is that it is a CRPG and a turn-based action style game, which means that it has the least likelihood of having won all of these awards as those type of genres tend to do a lot poorer than others. So if you haven't played Baldur's Gate 3, you definitely want to jump on that train. And while we are waiting for Patch 7 to arrive, there have been a ton of really cool features added to the game since its launch last year. Over Valentine's Day, a bunch 
bunch of new affectionate animations have been added for special kissing and romantic interactions between characters. New idol animations in camp so the characters while they're sitting at their tent will have all kinds of new ways to hang out by themselves. Quality of life features like being able to add or dismiss party members when trying to add a new party member so you don't have to go awkwardly go tell them off that you don't want them to hang around anymore and you're going with someone new you can do it dynamically and if you're up for the grand challenge they have added in new difficulty modes to the game as well so if you played early on at the first launch you played through either explorer balanced or tactician but they now have honor mode which is the ultimate challenge not only are all of the enemies more dangerous the bosses now have new abilities and what are called legendary actions and they've touted upward of 30 plus of these new actions for bosses. You have more restrictions placed on your character, including action economy and damage bonus rules. The difficulty is permadeath, so if you, your entire party dies, it is game over, your honor mode run will end. But if you claim it all, you'll get the achievement for having done so and a special dice set that is only available to the esteemed members that have completed the game on honor mode. On top of that, there's also custom settings now, so you can customize what is available, what's changed, and what's part of your own special difficulty, which I think is awesome. As soon as we get cross-platform play, it's gonna be really cool for people to be able to play with their friends and customize their experience. They've also wrapped up some of the storylines that didn't have a proper finish at the end of the game. Character arcs that just didn't get topped off or connections that were never made, they ended up having a final moment for them at the end of the story. And on top of that, separate from just having the end of the game be that way, they also added an epilogue that is a proper send-off for the characters and the story that you developed in your unique playthrough. Once the game ends, you will get a note from Withers six months in the future following the events of Baldur's Gate 3, and all of your characters will be able to be in camp and talk to each other and share stories and have special unique interactions based on the choices that you had made throughout your entire playthrough. And if you still have old save files around, you can load them back up complete the game at your latest save, and then check out this Journey's End epilogue based on the playthroughs that you've done to see what's new and what's changed. Or maybe it's time to start a brand new playthrough in a style that you haven't done before, or maybe you want to try and take advantage of the evil endings that are on the way soon. In case you've been a goody two-shoes, not a murder hobo in most of your playthroughs. And while Larian has announced that they're going to be stepping away from D&D &D as their core housing, they're already working on new games and new titles to test out, and we know that it's going to be great once it finally arrives. So if you haven't played Baldur's Gate 3, now is the best time to jump in and start playing. If you have played before, maybe consider starting a new run with all the new changes and content that have gone into the game up until this point. Because now is the perfect time to fall in love with the game all over again. If you found value in today's video, leave a like down below, leave a comment for the algorithm to help this video get seen by more people. And don't forget to check out my other channels for other content and other stuff and other things.